Hey Mon Gamers, JFJ's Gaming here, and as promised from the end of the last video, we, this is going to be the follow-up to the A Teapot to Call Home quest. So if you remember last episode, we are filing a case against Mr. Crossell, this Nest 9 merchant, who was in possession of Smaragdus Jadeite, and rented out a bunch of Smaragdus Jadeite hairpins to Ms. Zicho, and we're just get, we are just gathering evidence to show to Mr. Crossell that he has been renting out fake Smaragdus Jadeite to Ms. Zichow. So we're going to see how that plays out. And I just want to thank you guys for your patience and your continued support. Don't forget to leave a like or a comment on the video if you really enjoy it. And if you want to stay up to date with all my newest videos, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell to stay up to date with all my latest uploads. And to receive the latest news on the channel, don't forget to follow me on my social media pages over on facebook.com slash jaysgaming127 and over on twitter.com slash jaysgaming127. Anyways, that's it for me. I'm just gonna shut up now. Uh, thank you so much for the con continued support again. Enjoy the video. You guy is as weird as ever. Is it just Paimon, or does it feel like he was fishing for something back there? Dr. Baiju's always been like that. Well, we have the evidence we need. Let's go find Mr. Crossel. Alright, let's go and sue Mr. Crossel for fake Smaragdus Jadeite hairpins. Let's take him to court. Or bring the court to. Oh, sorry. Wrong guy. Nope, uh, see you around. Oh, there's Mr. Crossel. My friend, what can I get you? Miss Yanfei, have you finished your investigation? I trust you will now be in a position to assess the compensation due. Yes, my investigation is indeed concluded. I can now provide a final figure for the amount payable. Wonderful. Well then, please, could you do the honors, Miss Yanfei? Of course. Ahem, <clears throat> according to the stipulations of the contract. Mr. Crossel, you must pay Mr. Chow ten times the original transaction price in Mora. Sure. Wait, what? M me pay her? Surely there's been some kind of mistake, Miss Yanfei. Not at all. According to my investigations and the material evidence that we've gathered, the substance claimed to be Smaragdus Jadeite that was inlaid within the Smaragdus Jadeite twin phoenix pins that you rented out to Mr. Chow was, in fact, Smaragdus Nephrite. Now, the contract states very clearly that ten times the price shall be paid should the article not be genuine. Accordingly, you are liable for this sum, which is payable to Mr. Chow in Mora. Material evidence? What material evidence? Why, Miss Yanfei, you cannot frame me like this! I spent a huge sum to obtain that Sparagdus Jadeite, and yet you claim that the ore inlaid on the hairpins is somehow fake? I demand to see your evidence. Indeed. Only a testimony from an expert witness involved in the processing of the ore can serve as an authoritative assessment of whether it is genuine. Traveler, please produce the evidence in question. Sure. Here's the first one from the Jade Mystery. This is a processing record from the Jade Mystery, along with stone samples and an affidavit signed by the business owner, Chateau. Seriously? Even the boss there couldn't differentiate between Smaragdus Jadeite and Smaragdus Nephrite. How does this prove anything? In any case, Smaragdus Nephrite is the outer layer of Smaragdus Jadeite. So I had him cut away the Nephrite, he returned the valuable Jadeite core to me, and some Nephrite samples remain in the store. What am I missing exactly? Th that's an unsubstantiated belief. Well, your claim that my ore is fake is just as unsubstantiated. And we are here to talk about evidence, aren't we? Ugh. Looks like our first piece of evidence didn't convince him at all. Seems like he came prepared. What should we do next? Second evidence. Hard evidence. Something legally binding. We have just the thing. Show him, Traveler. Here's evidence from the mixing jewelry. 
<laughs> this document proves that my hairpins are the real deal, doesn't it? This is the Ministry's seal, after all. It shows that the ore inlaid on the pins is indeed Smaragdus Jadeite. Our second piece of evidence didn't work either. And this guy's getting more belligerent by the second. Hmm. You know, you could be right. Perhaps the hairpins are the real deal after all. Of course I'm right. All the evidence shown supports my story. Well, hang on a moment now, because I do recall one final piece of evidence that we haven't revealed yet. Traveler, would you do the honors? This shall serve as decisive proof of our case. Here's the final evidence from Boo Boo Pharmacy. What? What's this? Smaragdus Jadeite springs forth from Stone Marrow within the mountains and will bring disaster to any mere mortals who touch it. Sustained contact with Smaragdus Jadeite over a prolonged period will, in less serious cases, cause a mild malady, while in serious cases, the patient may suffer a dramatic change of personality and fall seriously ill. Mr. Crossel, were you aware of these peculiar properties of Smaragdus Jadeite? I... I had no idea. No idea, you say? Hmm, I'd guessed as much. But for you to have rented out such a dangerous item... I'm afraid that this falls outside the scope of my work, but within that of the Ministry of Civil Affairs. However, I'm sure that the Ministry will be relatively lenient considering that, as you say, you were ignorant of the danger you posed. Don't worry, Mr. Crossel. I will make sure that all the evidence presented here will be handed over to the Ministry. I trust that you'll give them your full cooperation in their investigations. What? Wait! Wait! I... I knew. Oh, so you knew? Oh, dear, Mr. Crossel. But if you knew of Smaragdus Jadeite's dangerous properties beforehand, why would you... Huh? No, I... The hairpins aren't actually... Aren't actually inlaid with genuine Smaragdus Jadeite? Is that what you were about to say? You do understand, Mr. Crossel, that this means that you will have to pay Mr. Chow ten times the original price in Mora? Mr. Crossel, your answer, please. My client and I are waiting. I... 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 Yampi's seriously intimidating right now. It's like she's a different person. Again, that's legal consultancy for you. I admit it. I confess. The ore I had and laid on those hairpins was... was Smaragdus Nephrite. B but I'm a victim in all of this, too. I invested a great deal of time and money into acquiring that small amount of Smaragdus Jadeite in the hopes of turning it into a piece of jewelry that would fetch a fine price. But after receiving it and carrying it around for a few days, I started to feel extreme discomfort. I couldn't sleep a wink or eat a single bite. I... I was in a constant state of agitation, too. I went to Boo Boo Pharmacy to get myself checked out, only to discover that this sort of stone cannot be worn as jewelry. But how could I let all that money go to waste? That's why I had another pair of hairpins made from Smaragdus Nephrite, which is almost indistinguishable from Smaragdus Jadeite. I kept the real Smaragdus Jadeite in a specially made box. I daren't touch it again. I was worried that someone would see through it, which is why I only dared to rent them out, not sell them. And then to top it all off, Chichao lost the hairpins after I rented them out to her. So why did you charge Cho such an ex extortionate rental price? Exactly! If they weren't the real deal, why'd you make her pay so much, hmm? I... I didn't want to either, but when I purchased that Smaragdus Jadeite, some of my business partners found out. I knew they'd be watching closely to see how much I could make off it. If word got out that I sold a pair of fake hairpins, then my days in this line of business would be over. Alright, let's cut the appeals phase right there. I fail to see what bearing any of this has on your transaction with my client. According to the contract, you must pay Mr. Chow ten times the original price in Mora, and that is final. Ten... ten times? Croso looks like he could faint any second! As for me, according to my contract with Mr. Chow, 20% of that sum will go to me. D 
Twenty percent? That's as much as I spent on that Smaragdus Jadeite. Um, there's no need. It's fine. You don't have to pay me that much, Mora. Even if the Smaragdus Jadeite on those hairpins was fake, I still bear responsibility for losing them. Legally or not, I think I owe some compensation for that. Ms. Juchow, you... However, Mr. Crossel, since you have no use for that chunk of Smaragdus Jadeite, why don't you give it to me instead? I'll consider us even. What? But... I... All right, then. This cursed rock's brought me enough grief as it is. Miss Yunfei, I'll turn this Smaragdus Jadeite over to you. I trust that it will suffice as remuneration? Well, um, that's not quite how the rules say this should go. But whatever, it'll do. Thanks so much for your help this time, Miss Yunfei. When you have the time, I'll be sure to visit and express my thanks more appropriately. Oh, come on. No need to stand on ceremony. Now, if I may confirm this again, Mr. Chow, have you and Mr. Crossel come to an understanding? Hmm? Well, yes, I believe we have. Well then, that's good. Mr. Crossel, it seems that my client has no further claims against you. Is... is that so? That's good. That's good. Actually, Mr. Crossel, I'd like to talk business for a second, if I may. I could see from the hairpins you produce that you're very skilled in jewelry design. My family, on the other hand, works in the ore business, and we have a fair stock of fine ores. If we could join forces, your jewelry designs and our choice ores, I think we could do some fine business between us. I, uh, let me think for a moment. Well, that's that. And we've got the Smaragdus Jadeite that Granny wants too. All's well that ends well, eh? Yes, though there were some twists and turns along the way. Exactly. Usually when someone tells us they've lost something, we end up searching all over the place for it. But this time, you managed to solve the problem with just a big stack of documents. <laughs> Even though the solution didn't involve actually finding the hairpins. The right solution depends on your perspective on the problem. The objective of my client, Mr. Chow, was to reduce her liability to pay compensation. So, rather than looking high and low for some hairpins, proving that the rented item was nowhere near worth what the vendor had claimed it to be was the more efficient solution. Can't say I've ever met an adeptus like you before. An adeptus? Speaking of, you took part in that battle, didn't you? In which case, you would have heard what Granny said. Liuai Harbor is now a city ruled by humans. The title of Adeptus means precious little to me compared to my job as a legal advisor. In any case, don't you think that the Liuai Harbor of today needs legal consultancy far more than it needs adeptal powers? Paimon can think of someone who would definitely disagree with your reasoning. I think there is much more than just reason involved here, Paimon. Well, since we got what we came for, it's time to pay Granny a visit. I bet she's been on tenterhooks for a while now. Alright, we got the Smarag Smaragus Jadeite. Just one piece? Is that all we need? Alright, well, let's go ahead and talk to Granny Ping. I can't wait to... Have, have that teapot and customize my own uh, portable house. Oh, oh man, uh, we didn't get we didn't even get get to try playing as Yanfei and and see how she does in a fight. Ah, it's just like with Zhong Li. I mean, during the Arquan quest, we never once got to try to use him in a fight. In a trial run. Anyways, hello Granny Ping. Ah, oh, you've returned. How did it go? Were you able to find the Smaragdus Jadeite? We were, thanks to Yanfei. Good, good. Then we have all the materials we need. Well, if we're all set, Granny, I'll get going now. Got a ton of clients waiting for me back at the office. Oh, you. 
All right then, go see to your business. Granny should be able to handle the rest. I'm off then, bye! Oh yes, Traveler, make sure you don't lose the business card I gave you. I've been looking into the laws of other nations as well. If you should ever bump into any trouble with the law, come find me directly. Regulars get discounts too. Come now, child, are you leaving or are you not? If you have no wish to leave, perhaps you'd like to help me clean my teapot, hmm? <laughs> I'm leaving! I'm leaving! <sighs> that child. Goodness knows where she learned to be so rambunctious. Her father was hardly so riotous or fond of talking nonsense back in the day when he stood beside Rex Lapis. A truly unique adeptus. Ah. <sighs> Indeed she is. Liyue has changed, and the Adepti must also learn to change. Yanfei might be overly garrulous, but she is also the most intimately acquainted with the city among us all. Ah, Liyue is not the same place I once knew. Granny. All right then. Let us speak of this no more. Back on topic, I believe that I still owe you a little gift. Oh, Paimon's so excited! How is it made? And how long does it take? Ha <laughs> ha It is but a single teapot. It shan't take long at all. Just wait here for a moment. Hoo-hoo! <laughs> there we go. This serenity pot is all yours now. Hold it firmly. If you were to drop it, oh goodness, who knows what might happen. Take these blueprints with you as well. You'll need them if you wish to make your teapot a little more lively inside. Thanks, Granny. Wait a minute, Granny. How exactly are we supposed to use this teapot? Oh, you needn't worry about that. I've already arranged for a certain little helper to await you within this teapot. She will explain everything you need to know about it. Okay, Serenity Pot unlocked. There we go. We got it. Oh. Alright, we got a few decorations in the process as well. Uh, enter the Serenity Pot. Alright, uh... Okay, open my inventory. Go to... Gadgets. Place Serenity Pot. Okay, and enter the Serenity Pot. Oh, I gotta pick a landscape first. Uh, oh, um, hmm, and these two are locked. I think what we'll start with is, hmm, let's tr let's start with Cool Isle. I mean, this looks nice. Oh wait, can we pre pre preview? This is all we get. Not can't explore more. Mount em Emerald Peak has yeah, all mountain terrain, and then this one is floating abode. All right, hmm. Let's start with a cool aisle. All right, we're teleporting. Yeah, I may have to do this during my off time because I would imagine th uh, building or customizing your own portable house, especially with all the decorations and whatnot, is going to take some time to get arranged. Oh, uh, we're loading again. A great big house in the middle too. House? Oh, that? Wow. Huh? But there's just a whole load of nothing around.
around it. Um, get, get chill, uh, get chiseling Paimon. You could carve us a whole house out of this rock. Can't do that. Uh, well, you're the one with the sword anyway. You do it. Still, why is it so empty here apart from that house? Oh, wait a second. What is that? Okay, okay. Explore the area. Okay, so there's like a beach uh, below us. Or just by a cliff. Oh, let's... <laughs> Who is this? Let's talk to... Whatever this is. Wow! It seems that we have a visitor. It's a huge finch! Excuse me, I am not a finch. I am a teapot spirit, and you may call me... Um, hang on a moment. What am I supposed to be called again? Oh, call me. I suppose you may call me Tubby. Certainly look the part. So you're the little helper, Madam Ping mentioned? Madam Ping? Oh, you must mean Ping. Yes, she did summon me here. She told me much about you. You may leave all matters regarding the upkeep of this realm to me. Your journey may be far from over, but at least this way you will not want for a comfortable place to sleep each night. So, what's a teapot spirit exactly? Though it is the Adepti who create realms such as this, they generally do not have the time of day to attend to the banal matter of their maintenance. Thus, we Teapot Spirits were created to help guard their realms and manage their affairs. You may consider me a butler, if you will. Now, allow me to explain this realm to you. Have you any blueprints on you? Specifically, Blueprints with beautiful rooms, chairs, and the like. As long as you have a blueprint, you can refashion this realm however you please. Blueprints? Oh, that's right! Granny handed us some when she gave us the teapot, didn't she? Let's take them out and have a look. Yes, these are the blueprints I'm talking about. Go on. Open them up. Just commit the image of the objects to memory and prepare the necessary materials. Then simply release the thought from your mind and the object in the blueprint shall appear within this teapot. Wow! Is that all it takes? Then we could build a whole city inside, couldn't we? Mm, I doubt it. A golden-eyed adeptus explained this to me at some point in the past. He said that even though subspace creation is a product of adeptal power, even that has its limits. This world is not a true one, after all. It provides merely a moment of brief respite from the mortal realm, not a means of escaping it entirely. True. I can see that. A golden-eyed adeptus? Paimon wonders who could that be? Zhong Li? I hardly remember myself. What's more, I have never seen that Adeptus again since. Uh, how very strange. Well, let's not dwell on that. Have a look around. Best you get accustomed to this realm. If there's anything you would like to ask, just look for me. Okay, we got a little tutorial here. Uh, if you guys want to pause, go ahead and pause that here. Okay, I'll just lower it right there. You can just pause it right there. Alright, so I'll go next page. Yeah, as I mentioned just now, just pause it. 
just pause it and so on and so on and so on Alright, so, wait, talk to Tubby again? Okay. Uh, what's up? I asked you to come here so I could give you a little gift. I don't know if I told you before, but these abodes are private spaces created by the Adepti for themselves. Most Adepti will use certain methods to seal their abode away from the rest of the world to ensure its purity and avoid being disturbed. Afterward, Adepti would create a realm dispatch for those they wish to invite into their abode. This realm dispatch bears signatures of the abode's Adeptal energy and that of the Adeptus themselves. As such, anyone who has this dispatch can enter or exit the abode freely. Before, this abode was in an incomplete embryonic state. Those whom you invited into it would only have been able to exit and enter together with you, rather than remain for long periods. But now, we'll take this realm dispatch that I have created for you and hold it in your hand, tightly. Now, what should I do next? Don't worry, you need only hold this dispatch and it will draw some of your energy out and into it. Ah yes, I heard Ping mention that you have made friends in a great many places. Such As such, I suspect that we were to distribute one dispatch to each one of them. We would be here making dispatches for a long time. As such, I made some modifications to this dispatch. All you need to do is tap the palm of the person you'd like to invite lightly with the dispatch and your energy signature will remain on them. Allow them to enter and leave your realm with ease. Huh, it's almost like marking, isn't it? Huh? Well, sort of. But... But why did you have to put it so weirdly? Ahem, well, here is the worm dispatch. Go for it and invite whoever you wish. It seems that this place shall become lively quite soon. And is that it? Quest complete? Oh, wait. Um. What's this? Oh, yeah, it's a uh, co op thing. Wait, uh, place special notice travelers being sure that you follow our terms of service while using Serenity Pod to create a healthy gaming environment. Please read. Yeah, I, I think it's uh, pretty obvious. Don't put anything offensive in here. Oh, okay, so this is how we customize the place. And we can see like the boundary and whatnot. Okay, uh Okay, how do I okay, the this is where I am. Can I like move the camera or anything? Okay, I got a workshop here. Oh, okay, okay. Hmm. Oh wow, this is gonna take some getting used to. Uh, main building? Okay, so this is our main building. Oh, uh, we can change, we can move the main house? No, uh... Man, I, I still need to... Oh, okay, so this is how you move the camera. You, the directional buttons. Okay, okay. All right, all right. Uh, I'll have to figure this out uh, in my f uh, free time, or maybe I'll stream it. And hold on. Okay, it's just the uh, what I read earlier. 
Okay, thank you for the uh, primo gems. What does this do? Oh, uh, rewards. All right. I'll take that. Some trees. All right. What's replica? Oh boy, more disclaimer stuff. Yeah, so don't do anything inappropriate or illegal, whatnot. Yeah. Okay, generic replica. Whoa, uh, what did I do? Oh, it's rep, rep, replica. Uh, you know, you know what, guys? Uh, I'll just research this during my off time. There's just a lot of stuff being thrown at me at once. So, can we like exit or anything? Okay, so here are the items. No, not that one. These two. A, a lantern. A fruit stand. Oh, the, here's the realm dispatch thing. Alright. Can we exit from it though? Oh wait. Oh, the camera put me over here. Hold up, hold up. Alright, so what if I talk to Tubby again? Maybe you're not used to the place at the moment, but once you've materialized enough rooms and furniture through subspace creation, it will feel just like home. Alright, uh, trust rank. Uh, rank bonus. Alright, claim rewards. Thanks for the Primo Gems. Okay, uh, what's that square? Okay, that's, uh, realm currency. Alright. Create furnishing. Okay, and... Uh, do I just pick one, I guess? Okay, so this is the wood materials it needs. Okay. Alright, these are... Materials. Okay. If you ever have any questions about the realm within, you may ask me. Okay, so I think, um, oh, more stuff to claim. What else did I get? Okay, the blueprint. Uh, learn that. Learn this. Learn that. Learn this. Okay. So we have learned everything. Uh, can we get out of here though? Do I just... Okay, I just changed the map, and do I just spawn back? Do I have... Alright, so I guess that's just how, that's how you exit. You just pull up the map and change the map, and then just click on a spawn point, and that's it. Man, I'm going to be so busy decorating my seren my portable home now. Or, yeah, I guess you can call it portable home. But I, I, heard, I heard from somewhere that it's basically like, um, like um, Animal Crossing house. Okay, so I guess, this me I guess that means we're done with that um, quest. Are we are we done with the quest though? Yep, we are definitely done with the quest. 
fastest growing population. Okay, yeah, we definitely... This is a world quest. Yeah, there, we, def we still got other quests here to do, guys. I think we're gonna do J Chamber Rising in the next episode. But as of now, I, we're, I'm all about out of time for this episode. So yeah, there, apparently there was no fighting in, in, this, uh, in, in that quest just now. So sorry if it was a little bit boring. But if you overall did enjoy it, especially uh, all you Yanfei fans out there, if you enjoyed this video, this I hope you leave a like or a comment on the videos that you enjoyed it. And if you want to stay up to date with all uh, the latest updates on my channel, please go ahead and follow me on my Facebook page at facebook.com slash jaysgaming127 and over on Twitter at twitter.com slash jaysgaming127. That is if you have a Twitter account. But most importantly, if you want to stay up to date with all my latest videos, please go ahead and click that subscribe button and then click that notification bell so that you are always notified with all my newest videos. But without further ado, but I'm excited for watching Mon Gamers, and as always, I will see you in the next video. Ingat!